how beautiful the female earth being is. But I have never been deceived by her beauty. Her attractiveness allures the male earth being and blinds him. They have forgotten my father. The look in their eyes is always the same when they realize who I am and the reason I stand before them. They struggle and it is hopeless. They will all face me at the door. with drugs finding their way to large city centers. 25 people have been arrested and face charges ranging from smuggling to possession for the purpose of trafficking. Police say that the man who was seen leaving a large number of crime scenes has finally been arrested. Law enforcement is certain that the homicides are the act of the same person who has been acting with a large group. For the past eight years, American people have been living in fear, not knowing who would be next. There has been no discrimination. Police officers, drug dealers, yeah, judges, Dimitri. to name a few, have been victims of this monster. I'm looking at it right now. Really? Okay. All right. I'm like an hour away. Okay, see you there. Yeah, I'll be there as soon as I can. A government bill to crack down on laboratory. <laughs> able to find the identity of this man. Nothing is shown up on our database. Have you found his fingerprints? That's just it. He has no fingerprints. We ran his DNA. And? Well, he has four extra chromosomes. 50 chromosomes? That's gotta be a mistake. No, no mistake. There is definitely something different about this man. What, well, does he say anything? No. We got a bunch of murders tied to this guy. And I've never seen anything like this. So tell us. Who are you? We've got witnesses and surveillance that have placed you at the scene of at least 200 of these crimes. Now, some of these victims, if you ask me, deserved it. But then some of them are just innocent people who've done no wrong. 
Did I strike a nerve? Why must you go? Matachim is capable of doing the job too. I must do my duty and complete this mission. Not too long ago, you was away from home on the planet Amunu, warring with the Ufut. Yes, you was victorious. Yes, you established the order of the highest and brought about peace Sabriu, there, but... I do these things to set balance and keep peace throughout the boundless universe. It is my duty, as it will be the duty of our youngest son, Amsu. I can see what dwells in each of their souls. All who enter this earthly abode. They do have potential for greater things, but it is hidden inside that flesh. It is only when I have released them that they realize the gift of life that my father has given to them. Many of them have wasted their time here. I knew from a young age that I was born to do this. I understand the human nature oh so well, much better than they do. My father is constantly talking to them, but they listen not to his voice. Can you hear him? Just listen closely. Just listen. Why won't they listen? They fear being old, yet it is a gift from my father. In old age, they will lose the desire for this earthly plane. So what is it that is really troubling you, my dear? Look at all these other females who dwell in this heavenly abode. They get to spend much time with their husbands. But you and Mikhail are always the first to volunteer for any and every mission. That is not true. I am born with the nature of a soul remover. I did not volunteer. I was chosen. We are of the eternal ones. The time I spend on the lower realm is nothing. Absolutely nothing compared to the infinite we have ahead of us. But I'm going to miss you greatly. We are connected. My DNA is inside of you. We are one flesh. Whenever you reach out to me, I can feel and hear you. I can too, but it's different with you not being here present. You see, I can hear their thoughts. So much chatter. I know this sounds crazy, but I am telling you the truth. The pain of labor is nothing compared to what will befall them for turning away from my father. They think they can hold me here, but I am only visiting. I can leave if I want to, but I have to complete my mission. I am here for the room. I need four weeks rent in advance and one week's deposit. So this is one of the better rooms. Now we don't have a kitchen. It's fine. So... I'll take it. I am Israel, mighty warrior son of the Most High. I am not a human. I am not a human. I will bring judgment upon you. I come in to tell him why we worry. It's gonna be offline tomorrow from I am here for I am here. Yo, my nigga, make sure you sell this motherfucker to anybody. You know what I mean? Bitches, niggas, school kids. Man, we done so crack to mad pregnant bitches. It's about getting that guac. What about the babies? Man, fuck the babies. Yeah, for real, son. You gotta get your bread up. We some heartless motherfuckers out here. Yo, I body mad niggas to get Ron mad. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You ain't body fuck nobody. Out of here. You body mad niggas? Hell yeah. Yo, you expecting somebody? Hell no. Nah. <sighs> Let me see who the fuck this is.
please, man, don't kill me. I got kids. You are not like these men. Your light is not dimmed, but it is dimming. Choose wisely the company you keep, or next time I shall not spare you. Are you sure you want to be sent down? Yes, Father. I have been on many similar missions. I'm at your service to do whatever is necessary. Earth is very different than those. It is a lower realm. The longer you remain there, the more you will become like them. You must stay in tune with your true self. How must I achieve that? You have to speak with yourself from time to time. The longer you remain there, the more you must do it. I understand. If you remain there for nine cycles, you will have to go through the death process in order to return back here. If it comes to that, that means I must travel through the plains. Then Amsu will be fully developed by the time I return. I will complete my mission within eight cycles. I am Israel. What did you just say? She didn't say anything. I am Israel. So you call yourself Israel? Are you going to confess to these crimes? Who are you working for? I mean, because you couldn't have done this by yourself. You are not my judge. If a man takes the life of a drug lord, is he wrong? Yes, a man is wrong to take a life. But you condone the death caused by your world leaders by way of war and law enforcement. That's different. How so? Because we're just doing our job protecting the innocent. Do you truly have the ability to determine who is guilty and who is innocent? If I take the life of a drug lord, many lives are saved. Children who are to become scientists, doctors, productive citizens' lives are saved from losing their lives to drugs. So you're admitting to these murders? Listen, we have witnesses that have placed you at the scene of these massacres. And many are afraid to come forward because they said you did it as if you were born to do it. They said he called himself the angel of death. Israel, my son, come. Yes, father. Rise to your feet, son. Yes, father. What is it, father? You seem troubled. Do you hear them? Yes, Father. I hear them. It saddens me that their only thoughts are of evil. As in the days of Noah, the planet Earth is in great need of a cleansing. My Father, creator of the boundless universes, how shall I deliver your judgment upon them? I will send you amongst them as one of them. 
Your brother Michael is already down there, seeking those worth saving. Humans, my son, are a paradox. How so, Father? They lack compassion, yet they were made with compassion. They have my very essence dwelling inside of them. I am confused. How can they have your very essence inside of them and not have compassion? Because they have a dual nature. 180 degrees positive and 180 degrees negative. Does that not make them like Azazel? For he too has a dual nature. Azazel is unbalanced. He is bipolar. I will see to it that thy will be done on earth as it is in the boundless universes. They will cry at your feet and beg for their very lives. They could be very convincing. Their cries will fall on deaf ears. My nature is to rip the very soul out of them and return it to the source. They have the ability to be like me. But they follow the ways of the fallen one, Azazel. He and his 200 followers have planted their disagreeable seed deep within the planet Earth. We will speak on these things later, my son. The angel of death. Is that what you call yourself? Is that what you think you are? I am he. We got ourselves a loose one here. <laughs> well, he's some kind of death dealer. I'm only sitting in your presence because I choose to. And why on earth would you want to be here? To bring judgment upon every soul in this building. I am not crazy. It may seem that way. It is not me. It is this world. Brian, it's time for your meds. Brian, it's time for your meds. Brian. Brian, it's time to take your meds. I am Israel, angel of death.